I first got to know Mike when I first started working here, I guess I just saw him coming in and out of the gym and stuff like that. Thought that he was a uh, kind of a top guy to be around, and uh, yeah, so that's that's I suppose originally how I got to know. Yeah. I'm his mum. He's my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are cousins. Fitness. What was your kind of reaction to that? Like that would have been. I couldn't believe what he was doing. I was quite surprised. But once he started, myself and his father just went with it. He used to smoke now and again. He probably killed me for saying this. When he when he went out for a drink, he would have a have a couple of cigarettes. Now, never in a million years. So, all these ha bad habits that we all have, we take for granted. They're bad habits. Mike just eliminated it from his life. He said, no, I'm gonna have none of this. I don't want this in my life. He completely changed his life. He wasn't into weightlifting at all. Not at all. Like he was a big boy, a big partier. <laughs> all of a sudden, he was a fitness freak. This is like our fifth or sixth prep now. Between like photo shoots, competitions, or just like general. Well, actually, we probably done more than that if you count just general like shredding down preps. And do you think he's a big guy? Pretty much. <laughs> Huge. Hey. Hello. Just wanted to ask you a few questions. In terms of how his training is, there's one kind of aspect you always see. So you always see him coming in here with a bag and that's something you don't see any other member doing. And it's basically because he sweats that ah. amount because he's putting so much intensity into every training session. He's going to need to change his clothes once if not twice through every session. So you can see that he definitely has the intensity above most people in fairness. So. He's here every day, I'd say without fail. Good in the club as well, you know, because he's got a lot of experience and, you know, a lot of young guys kind of come in and they're, you know, unsure about different techniques and he, you know, he always there to give a hand, but his so, dedication really stands out to everybody, I think. And so, like, would you, would you notice a difference in your relationship with Mike on prep? Hugely. Yeah. It's like being with a different person. And um, it gradually gets harder as he gets deeper into prep. Yeah. If someone was saying that they were going to do prep and they had a partner, I would honestly say like you lit if you're living with a person, you really do need to discuss it. Like it's got to be a partnership if you're living together prep wise. It's definitely not just one person doing prep. Like if you're living with someone, it, it totally affects them. And like it to even if it's your, just your mom and dad, like it totally affects them because your mood will change and everything. So this is definitely very harder. It's definitely, like I'd be lying if I said it didn't test our relationship, this one hugely. But, um, but I knew we'd get through it like we always do. He's competing at the moment. Um, he's running his own business and like in the most incredible shape and stuff like that. Like he just works so hard. There's so many people out there that like literally just kind of, you know, wander through life like without without really kind of wanting to achieve big goals and like if you surround yourself with people like that you're going to be similar but see, ever since i've met mike i've wanted to surround myself with him because he gives off this aura of hard work and work ethic and i absolutely 100 percent admire that about him Yeah, oh, it's, you know, it's like so many hours and hours. You see him like every time you go on Instagram, he's on the cross trainer, he's in the gym. Like there's no one like him relaxing, just chilling. It's like always constantly growing, growing, growing. Good to see him like training every day and doing cardio twice a day, sticking to his meal plans and fighting through all the hard days. So it's good inspiration and like for a lot of heavy kids out there and heavy people, Mike's a good example of good inspiration. It's an ambition. It, it's he's just striving forward all the time he won't stop until he gets what he wants you're also like not only working at the gym that he's been training and uh, that has supported him that you're actually a client of of mike's so. i think what differentiates uh, mike i suppose from other coaches is basically like how specific everything is as i said a while ago um the accuracy everything is so calculated everything is so specific um he knows people's bodies inside out all I can say really is, if you listen to him, and if you follow exactly what he's saying, there's no reason why you won't get results. His knowledge on, on diet and training is phenomenal, so you couldn't ask for any more than that, really. Just pick one word to describe Mike. Could I describe Mike in one word? He's unique. He's awesome. Adventurous. I'd say determined. Like, in every aspect, business, relationship, like stage prep, anything, he'll never give up 
on anything ever. Certainly, he, he's a winner basically. That's that's pretty much all I have to say about him because I've seen him come in here before after previous competitions where he mightn't have done as well as he had, and mm -hmm. you can tell in his mood that he just wants to push on. He wants to finish as like as best he can, and nothing's going to get in his way. Definitely dedication. I mean, he's here every day. Um, he at least spends an hour to two hours here, and you know he's absolutely dripping by the time he gets out of here. So dedication is definitely the word. Mike's prep has it affected you personally over the past couple of months? He's way more focused on just prep, so it's kind of like it engulfs his life. So the creative ideas of like making YouTube videos outside of prep and like the stuff that he would have thought of before has kind of gone on the back burner. And I understand that. I totally get that. Um, but that's just what I would personally notice is that he has I get less voice messages from Mike being like yo Zach What's up? Do you want to do a 10,000 calorie food challenge? You know like and that's kind of something I miss about Mike Wicked <laughs> Nightmare <laughs> I'm not allowed to say that am I? <laughs> you are, yeah, yeah, no, you're going honest like is it? Have you found anything? Very difficult His energy, he's very snappy um, But we get over it we ride the waves. Done, it's not the first time. Like he's still that friendly, really friendly guy that every time we meet up he's so motivated and you know he's good for the stories and he's good for the crack and he's always gonna teach me new things. So I think he's kinda of the same during prep, but I don't know about Nicola feels about that. When you met Mike for the first time, is he very different to how he is now or Totally. Like people often ask, like, oh, like when in, or they ask him, like, when in, like, your journey, like fitness journey, did you and did you and Nicola meet? Like when we first met, Mike was like super skinny, like it was four and a half years ago. He was really skinny. He was a gym freak. Um, but yeah, and like we, it was so funny. Like we were only laughing about it earlier. Like when we, because he had, was living in an apartment in Cork me and him used to like put together whatever coins we had in our wallets and like count our coins together to try to get the bus to my nana's house and she'd give us like Sunday dinner because like that's how broke we were when we first met four years ago. From eating less, eating clean, to actually eating more and more and more to get bigger and bigger and bigger. What do you think Mike motivates Mike? Like what do you think he's after? What's he chasing? I think when Mike gets into a prep for a show he, like he doesn't think of like oh in the future like this could be whatever or this could lead to whatever like he honestly if he sets his mind to anything he just focuses on that that end point so getting into this prep he literally was just focused on where he you know getting to the end and like getting on stage and like hopefully placing please god because he's worked so incredibly hard before he heads off to New York this Tuesday? I just kill it. Well, he knows that anyway. But um, yeah, it's been such a long road and it's definitely been a journey for both of us. But come to the finish line and best of luck. I know you'll absolutely smash it and I'm so incredibly proud of you. Best of luck, Mike. Go and kill it. All the hard work. Mike, from me, Eva, and Robin, we want to wish you the best of luck in New York. And we hope you take home the trophy. Eat loads of donuts. You deserve it. Thanks for all your help. Thanks, Mike. So now, in hope you enjoy it, enjoy the trip, enjoy after. Best of luck, bud. And we love you. Sorry, you have to treat Nick like she deserves it. I just want to say a huge good luck in New York to Mike. Um, thankfully, he's given me the opportunity to fly alongside him over and uh, experience the whole thing. But it goes without saying you've worked so so hard man and uh, whether the result whether you get the result or not um, I just want you to know I'm so so incredibly proud of you you've literally inspired me this whole year so thanks for that and uh, let's go if you know the name, in New York.